I said, they noticed when I was as young as third grade. Um, the people can attest that, that I grew up with. I got friends I still talk to from elementary. That's a blessing. But uh, really in the fifth grade, uh, I, I played in the fourth grade. I started, I was starting in the fourth grade. But that fifth grade, my first game I had, I was in fifth grade, man. No lie. We played against Lynch Elementary. I never forget. I had 22 points as a fifth grader in my first game. At the time, I knew I was good, but I was out there just playing on natural talent. You know what I'm saying? And that's when everybody was talking like, man, y'all seen this kid from Joyce Elementary. That was back when I was in the fifth grade. So that's when people discovered I, like, I really had the talent to, to be a basketball player. The, the, the title of the, I mean, the name of the channel is Education Over Everything. So I got to ask, well, it, how, at what level academically were you during that time? You felt like you were, you know, you were, you were handling your business in the classroom or were you struggling or were you excelling? How were you during that I, time? Um, at that time when I was in the fifth grade, I, I believe I was just selling yeah. like every other kid that's that young, you know, 10, 11 years old at that time, you just selling. Um, you know, you're not really pushing yourself at the time. Um, but my mother, you know, my grandmother, they always stayed on me by my academics. They, they, they stayed on me, they, they always stressed that. Um, Cause they made sure I was to school every day. You know, you, you, know, you see kids now, it's, it's, it's drizzling snow on the ground. They ain't going to school. We, wa we walking to school and it's just snow. They school. You, you know, know they, they canceling school yeah, just for yeah. into because they see snow might be coming, they yeah, canceled. Yeah. So when I was growing up, it was a little different, man. Me and my cousin, we was we was walking to school in inches of rain. We was walking. Yeah, yeah. So, but to answer your question, my grades, I think I was just getting by. Because mm -hmm. at the time, at, you're not young, you don't know the, the importance of bringing home all A's or being out of the road student. So what was what was middle school like? You going into middle school, were you recruited to go to that middle school? Or were you went to... Uh, you didn't go to Whitney Young straight out of elementary. No, so like I said, I went to Barber for maybe like a week. Yeah. My mom, when she found out all my neighborhood friends there, she asked for me to Whitney Young because she knew it was a little bit more better academically. It was more structured there, which I needed. And Whitney Young, they had a team. Didn't have a middle school team. That's what yeah. threw me off. Like Barber had a team. A lot of um, you know, a lot of players around our area played middle school ball, obviously yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Whether it was at Nolan. Yeah. On the east side. Or well, didn't Ricky play for Whitney Young? Ricky, we didn't have a basketball team. But Ricky was there. Nah, but Ricky, see, Ricky is older than me. I, I think I think I was a uh, I was an eighth grade when Ricky was a senior. I want to say. Okay. Okay. Um, and I well, remember I, I remember I was he in. He was a, a freshman. What what year did Ricky come out? Two thousand. I was a freshman. Yeah. I was I was an incoming freshman. Because Ricky and uh, Glenn Bateman. And Glenn Baby. Yeah. With the cast. Yeah. yeah. Went to Whitney Young. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, hmm. so y'all didn't have a team. So where where did you play? So, so I played um, pal. Um, I oh, played yeah. for the team um, called the All Stars. Um, it was elementary. It, it was a, my coach was coached at a, a school called Maya. His name is Duran Shepherd. Coached at Maya. We played in our same league. So that year, um, our league threw an All Star game at Saint Cecilia, and he came up with a brilliant idea. He took all the All Stars. And he got with our parents after the game was over. It's like I'm gonna put together an AAU team so they can play AAU. And just luckily, um, I was able to play um, during my whole middle school career. Well, I didn't play in the middle school league per se, as far as my school, because we didn't have a team. But I played PAL 1300 Bobman, played every weekend. I played in different church leagues, but I played with the All Stars mainly. He was always traveling, just playing different areas um, in middle school. So what was what was school school like? And when young, was it, was it? school, it, it was a good school, man. We had teachers that really um, got us ready for the next level. Um, they, they, they instilled values in us and they got us ready to, for, to go to high school. And it has no high, high school, uh, school work, things like that. They just had that discipline and that structure there. You know what I'm saying? So it was good for me. And how I heard of Ricky, it was a big newspaper article of Ricky. I seen it when I was in the, um, Eighth grade, that's so when he was at Renaissance. Yeah. Yeah, I was playing at Renaissance, and they was uh, obviously they was promoting him because he went to we went to the same middle school, yeah. and um, I was I was just like, you know, I ain't I, I didn't know him personally, but all you seen was a big newspaper article of Ricky Parton how he was just selling at Renaissance. Yeah, I, I remember time. that article. Yeah, you remember yeah, the article? It was like a two page. It's like, like a two page yeah, article yeah, yeah. with him on the front. Yeah. So uh, you know him and him and his sister went there. Like I said, they owed it.